Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Fine. So let's see what this Agile Scrum is. Okay. In the Agile Scrum, we try to organize our Agile model. Okay. You see here the major problem with this, you know. Okay. One second. Yeah. The major problem with this, you know, Agile model is, okay, we can deviate from the objective or we can deviate from the plan. We have the less control over the project. Okay. So what is the solution for that? We got to implement some control. How to implement a control on the project? Two ways. Either we can assign some person to do it and we can also make a list of some documents which can keep the track of what we are doing. Right? So how do we control this ambiguity over here? Okay, this drawback how to be controlled? We can do it in two ways. Okay. So you can have the people who are going to you know monitor if we deviate away from the plan they bring us on the track or we can take a support sorry it is and not or okay and we can also take a support of certain documents which will actually track whether you are moving as per the plan or not okay so this additional thing that is implemented itself is called as the agile scrum if these two features are added to your Agile model, it becomes the Agile Scrum. Let's try to look it in detail. Yes, uh, Shilpa, Agile and Agile Scrum are bit different. Okay, not completely different. Little bit change. In the Agile, you do not have much control. In the Agile Scrum, you have more control. But the scenario is going to be remain the same. Okay the new requirement and then change in the requirements will be there change in the um, environment and then new technology so all the scenario are going to remain the same but we are trying to take care of the drawback of the agile model here all right okay so what happens here in the agile scrum so scrum is nothing but we are going to divide the project into the sprints can you see here we have a word called as sprint so we divide the project into the sprint at the end of each sprint stakeholders and the team members meet to assess the progress of a project and plan the next steps okay so these are the different people who are involved in the scrum and then this is a sprint process Okay, so what exactly happens here is, yes, I will tell you what is the meaning of sprint and all that, okay. So here what happens is, we make the list of all functionalities. Okay. The list of all functionalities are made. Let's say we got to do the funds transfer. Okay. Or we'll consider our AT&T itself. Let's say we have the shop. Then we have the loan now. Okay. We have the register. Then we have bill payment. Right. So we have so many functionalities. Now 
For each functionality to be implemented, there are different tasks. Shopping cannot be, you know, just implemented with one product. There are so many services and products that have to be implemented under this shopping, right? So each one of them we can consider it as a task and it is called as a sprint, okay? Sprint is nothing but an individual task or an activity that is to be done, okay? What is it? A task or an activity which is a part of this functionality that is to be done. For example, under the shop, we have Samsung Galaxy. You can shop for it, the new uh, which has come, the S3. Let's say you want to shop for the internet or you want to shop for um, the phone, some other phone. You want to shop for your uh, cable for your TV, right? So these are some different shoppings that you can do, okay? And for each of these, we got to, you know, develop it separately, right? So these are called as sprints. Means under this functionality, so many tasks are to be done, we call them as sprints, okay? And then we can take one functionality at a time and release if it is a major functionality or we can consider the group of functionalities to be released. So finally, we do the release. And this print, it can be implemented either in a week or up to 30 days max. Okay. So whatever sprint we are, you know, thinking of to develop, we should make sure that we have to, you know, break the functionality in the activities such that it should be completed within a week or 30 days. Clear? So functionality and then split this functionality into different tasks we call them it as a we call them as a sprint okay which can be completed within a week or 30 days max and then we also plan for the release let's take the, some group of functionalities together or if it is a major functionality we are going to release it so we will release i mean we will plan for different releases okay then we have the product backlog okay Product backlog means it contains the list of functionalities that we are supposed to implement. Now let's say we have only implemented the shopping process and we have released it to the user. Okay. And another um, importance of this Agile and Agile Scrum is we need not wait for the complete project to be done in order to release the software to the client. Okay. Let's say you have your Google. Okay. Initially, when the Google was started, it has just the search engine. It had the Gmail application, right? But you look at the current Gmail or the Google. It has some Picasa, wherein we upload our all the photos, okay? And we have the Google Plus, which is similar to a Facebook, wherein you can get in touch uh, with all your friends. A social networking has been done. Recently, the latest change that was done was the look of your email system was changed. It was newly designed, right? So these are some changes that are being done without interrupting the usage of the users, right? When the Google Plus was implemented, they did not, you know, make any announcement that, you know, the Google will not be available for one week because we want to do the implementation. No. The users will be using the system. The developers will be doing the development. Once it is tested, they will be releasing it to the users. So without interruption, the users will be using the system. That is the Agile and Agile Scrum importance. Okay. So here also, let's say shop, this functionality is over. We can release it to the client. Our users will be using this. We will take up new set of requirements, implement it, release to the client. They will start using this also. Again, they will take some new set of requirements. We will implement it, release it to the client. They will start using it. Okay, so we are not going to interrupt the usage of the users here while we are implementing new functionalities. Clear everybody? Okay. So now let's say we have already implemented this shop. What are the ones that are remaining? Learn now is remaining. Then what is this I wrote? Okay, registration process is remaining. Billing is remaining. Okay. So whatever functionalities that are remaining, we will maintain it in one document okay which is called as the product backlog document 
So this document will contain the list of functionalities that are still to be implemented in the future. So that you know we have a track of it. How much is done, how much is not done, we will maintain the track. Okay. So that is called as the product backlog. Similarly, we also want to track the sprints. How many sprints are implemented, not implemented, we got to maintain a document. And that document is called as sprint burn down chart. What is it called? It is called as the sprint burn down chart, wherein we maintain the list of sprints that are to be implemented. Then we also have the release burn down chart. Okay, which contains the list of releases that are still pending. We have planned for a release in the next month. We have to add it in the release burn down chart. Okay, so what we are doing here, when you have the plan right in front of you, the track is right in front of you, you cannot deviate from it. Okay, let's say there are chances that you might forget some timings of the classes. What you do? Take a paper. Make the list of all the timings of the class, stick it somewhere so that you can track it. So today, Sunday, one class is over, you tick it. And then, I mean, you check it or, you know, you strike it. Let's say, what are the remaining ones? Monday class is over. Again, you strike it. So the next class is Tuesday. By doing this, what are you, you know, ensuring? You are ensuring that you are moving as per the plan. You are keeping the track of it. Correct? So even when you get the grocery to your house, what you do? You take a list. Okay, you have all the groceries in front of you. You just check out. Okay, this grocery is there. You strike it on your paper. I mean on your list. Next, another grocery you take. Okay, this, uh, you know, um, item has arrived. You strike it. Right? So you keep a track of everything. Similar way here also. Product backlog, sprint burn down chart, release down burn down chart these are going to help us to keep the track of everything okay clear okay now we need some people also to take care of it let's say your groceries who keeps the track of it obviously it's you right the housewives have to keep the track of it right okay so similarly here also we have some people who got to keep the track of all these things we have the product owner. Okay, so there are, you know, three fundamental roles. Product owner means he is responsible for communicating the vision of the product to the development team. Means he is your client. Okay, so he is the person who is going to show you the requirement. See, this is a requirement, this is a target which has to be reached, I want it. So he is called as a product owner. Based on his objectives i mean based on his requirements we decide the objective okay we call him as a product owner your client is a product owner he owns the product so based on his requirement we do the planning we set our objectives okay then we have the scrum master now the scrum master is a liaison between the product owner and the team so we have the development team on one side we have a product owner on the other side so this Scrum master, what he will do? He is a liaison, a coordinator. Okay. So, he helps um, the team to be creative. Or let's say he or she works to remove any impediments that are obstructing them from achieving its goal. Right. So, let's say, you know, your development team. They have certain problem. They are doing some implementation. They need some more information due to which they are unable to proceed further. So he will help them by getting the information from the product owner. He also works to advise the product owner about how to maximize the return on investment. Okay, leave this return on investment. It is a financial term. Okay, so this product, I mean the scrum master is going to also advise the product owner on what to be done, what not to be done, okay, what is a better thing that we can implement. Let's say we have Dhruvita, okay, she comes, you know, and she says that I have seen this thing in my friend's house, it looks nice, I want to implement it. We do not implement it right away, okay. If it is not a good one, we try to advise her, see, don't go for it, okay, we have a better option for you, why don't you try this, right. So this is what a scrum master does. Then we have the team members. 
team members means your architects programmers software engineers right all these people form the project team okay who are going to work on the project i mean the objective is set by this person that is a product owner scrum master is going to do the communication and coordination between the team and the product owner team members means it is our it project team who are going to implement the software okay so this is the agile scrum model right okay scrum master could be the project manager or he could also be the business analyst okay fabi because whenever we see any coordination to be done within the i mean between the client team and then your technical team it's always your business analyst okay technical team cannot directly talk with the client because the language is different client talks in a common language your technical team talks in a technical language there is no sync between them right so that is why we have the business analyst in between okay all right okay so now you had completed waterfall model i think you also wrote for v model right you wrote for a spiral model now add agile and agile scrum also okay so add the features mention one drawback Okay take a minute add these two in your list Okay then I will to I mean I'll tell what to do next okay So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.